All right, Ben and I are out today. We're moving around some below tree line elevations and we're checking out the snowpack. See how that persistent slab structure is distributed through the terrain and how it's changed. A week ago, Santa Claus brought us a great gift. Finally snowed in Colorado and we built a slab on top of some weak snow below. But now we've had a week and we're losing those presents. This slab is starting to deteriorate and facet away, change. Um, so you can just see as I run my hand through it, I only have this little bit of slab left and then I got a bunch of weak snow below. Above, I got a bunch of weak snow. A week ago, this was all a slab, but now it's just this little board and it can still collapse into the weak layer and shoot some cracks, but we're losing the ability to um, have an avalanche happen in this type of structure. Let's go see what it looks like on a wind-loaded terrain feature. All right, so this has been, we're just around the corner from where Evan showed you a very weak snowpack. Used to have a slab, now it's faceted. Here we are in a little drifted feature, and as we walked into it, the whole feature behind us collapsed. You can see the crack right up here behind me that shot through, and the snowpack structure is totally different than what you saw in the last little segment. So here, we've got the Christmas storm, and then it stiffens right in here. And the slab is much thicker. So this is the actual slab where around the corner, Evan was showing you a slab that thick. So here we've got a much weaker layer underneath. And the big difference is the presence of the slab from wind loading early on in the Christmas storm. So our danger presently is very specific to the snowpack conditions and when you find a slab that's stiff enough to rise up on top of when you're hiking or when you're snowmobiling or breaking trail you're going to find that's the same location where you can expect small avalanches to propagate